Andreas here from macOS10screencast.com. In this uh, review, I'd like to show you Kaleidoscope, which is a diff application for the Macintosh. It has beautiful design, I must admit. Um, that's why I want to have a look at this new application. And the cool thing uh, about Kaleidoscope is it's not only possible to diff or to compare um, code pieces of code but you can also compare pictures with it that's why that's what makes this application so special so in this screencast you will see how to make a diff what diff views or or comparison views you have um, we will compare pictures and have a look at the preferences as well and last but not least i will show you how to integrate kaleidoscope with your current ide or with your editor, whatever you're using. I hope you enjoy the screencast. In the first part of the screencast, I'd like to talk about the interface of Kaleidoscope. To do this, I've prepared uh, some lyrics I've downloaded from the web. Um, this is a song which I downloaded from two different lyrics sites. And when I drag them to Kaleidoscope, you see how the diffing mechanism uh, is, has now compared these two files and shows me the differences between those two text files. Now this is the unified view. In the unified view we see that we see the changes like with diff on the command line. So for instance uh, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from text file A and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 from the text file B. Now I can go with the cursor uh, through the, those two files and look at both files simultaneously. Here on the right hand side where the scroll bar is you see these markers here they show us where in those two files are actually changes are. If you had hit command 2 for instance you can switch to fluid view or you can just select whichever view you want to use here from the bottom left the fluid view is where you see both files at the same times, but the one is on the left side and the other one is on the right side, obviously. Um, here you see that we have this change here, for instance, this line has gone in this line and, so, and the, the other lines um, are still existing in both lines then from there on. But my favorite is the blocks view uh, because it doesn't save, let's say, screen estate, but it displays both files at the same time but doesn't um, leave out any empty lines. For instance, this line 35, which has been deleted in file 2. And now I can uh, look at the file. For instance, I can see, okay, here has a change been made for instance he has something being deleted like this comma here on the right hand side. You can add more files to this diff by going to the dropper here on the bottom and you can then choose if you want to have let's say this one here on A or this one here in the viewer B. So now let's have a look at how you actually work with Kaleidoscope and two files. First of all you see one line is always highlighted. This is the first, uh, second line, sorry, in this case, for instance. And you see insertions are marked green, deleted lines are red. And the one of the coolest features in Kaleidoscope is it doesn't only tell you that you have a change in a line, but it also tells you where that change happened. So, for instance, in the f second line here, the number 5000 has changed to 10,000. When I go to TextMate, you see that I have both files opened. When I just pop this window down, you see that, for instance, in this loop here, I have changed the this int value from the var variable name i to int. When I change this back now in TextMate, uh, let me just quickly edit this file. And as soon as I press Command S, you will see the changes being reflected in Kaleidoscope. So that's how you can edit both files at the same time with Kaleidoscope. 
The features we've seen so far are pretty much standard in every diff tool available. <coughs> but Kaleidoscope, except from being very Mac-like, can do a lot more. For instance, if I go to the help menu and select getting started here, we can open some sample documents. Now we see clearly that we can open text files, for instance, but down here we see we can also open images. Images? Sounds interesting. So let me just open the boats example here and let me zoom in a bit. Now here you see two boats compared next to each other. I can choose which part of the picture I want to see uh, here at the bottom right and I could, can also move both pictures around with this hand tool and we can clearly see that the boat here on the left hand side is red where it's on the right hand side it's red but we can do a lot more with this function I emailed a man called Glenn Ferron Mr. Ferron makes retouchings brilliant retouchings and you can go to his website by going to this web address and he was kind enough to give me two pictures to show in this screencast now we could do the same thing as before, I could zoom in and we can have the one picture on the left hand side and one picture on the right hand side. But that would be boring. So let me just switch to split mode. In split mode you'll see on the left hand side the first picture and on the right hand side the second picture. And when I mo move that picture around now you can see the difference between both images. If you don't like to have this line here in the middle you can also move uh, these small dots around at the bottom and at the top to get a, another comparison between previous and after. Now there's a fourth view in uh, while comparing uh, pictures. It is called difference. Now you see in this case difference doesn't do much because difference in the usual way just displays the, di the different pictures from the first and the second picture. But when you go to the preferences and go to the preferences for images, you see that we can select the difference re render rendition to be absolute or proportional. proportional. When I select proportional, we see that the more uh, pixels have been changed, the more intense they will be highlighted. So when I close the preferences down you see that the background hasn't changed much but here the hairs and especially the skin has changed a lot and in this case the difference mode works better in proportional mode. Now usually when you're working with code it doesn't happen that you have two separate files re really physically on your hard disk. For this kind of purpose you might want to integ integrate Kaleidoscope into your current workflow with your IDE and with a subversion or Git for instance. To do this Kaleidoscope or the, the team uh, of Kaleidoscope came up with a very cool idea. They offer an integration and they have a command line tool which is ksdiff. With this tool you can diff everything from the command line tool using Kaleidoscope just enter, enter the password after hitting install and you can then integrate Kaleidoscope with almost every uh, programming environment which is out there. For instance Cornerstone. If we go to Cornerstone we 